always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. That's been a breezy and cool day here in West Michigan. If you look at the flags out here at GVSU and Allendale, you can see there's still a pretty healthy breeze out there. The snow has melted off the sidewalks, and in fact, it's melted off the grass out here in Allendale. And you can see these pretty lights behind me. LED lights looking pretty out there in Allendale this evening. Here's how much snow there is on the ground. They got a bunch of it up in Traverse City, half foot on the ground at the airport this morning. Gaylord had four inches, Detroit had three inches. In fact, an area from about Ionia County East along I-69 uh, had the most snow in our area here uh, from uh, places like Clarksville and Ionia. Uh, over toward Detroit, uh, anywhere from two to four inches of snow actually fell. We got about an inch of snow on the ground in Grand Rapids on the grassy areas, uh, about an inch in Granville, and again, those uh, were from earlier today. Some of that may have melted. On Storm Track Live, a band of snow and uh, flurries uh, from western Ottawa County on down past Kalamazoo. That should kind of fade away here this evening, but watch out for an icy spot along that band along M40. Off to the north, you can see some snow that's falling uh, just to the east of Traverse City, east of Lake City. They uh, have some slippery roads there. And between Sault Ste. Marie and Marquette, uh, reports of slippery roads up there from snowfall that fell last night. Some places getting as much as five inches there. Puddles are going to freeze up tonight from any melting snow, so watch out for an icy spot, driveways, sidewalks, some of the lesser traveled roads. Uh, some snow is a possibility here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, and that could cause some slippery spots here, especially north of Grand Rapids, and it will be a dry Tuesday. Here's our future cast. You can see that band of snow uh, fades away, but here's the next snow that's coming here for tomorrow. This is tomorrow at 6 o'clock, so right around rush hour, there'll be more snow to the north and less to the south. Uh, snowfall amounts probably ranging from a dusting down toward the Indiana border, maybe an inch or so in Grand Rapids, and a couple of inches once you get up toward the Big Rapids area. That clears out pretty quickly, and temperatures will warm back up into the mid-40s, so the snow that we get is going to be melting. We'll take a look at uh, what's ahead here for us in terms of snowfall. I expect most areas, uh, again, tomorrow to see just a quarter of an inch Kalamazoo, maybe an inch for Grand Rapids, two inches up toward the Big Rapids area. Low temperatures tonight, generally down in the mid-20s, so everybody gets below freezing. It'll be a couple degrees warmer at the lakeshore. Readings tomorrow afternoon should be in the upper 30s to near 40. Warmest readings again by the lake. Water temperature is at 46. Winds tomorrow, not quite as breezy as today. We'll be up around 10 miles an hour here come tomorrow afternoon. So your forecast looks like this. We'll be in the upper 30s here tomorrow, near 40 on Tuesday. If you're looking for a dry day, pick Tuesday. Uh, temperatures head up into the mid-40s here for the middle of the week.